estimated by the year 2025, 1.8 billion people will live with an absolute water scarcity. And two thirds of the world will live in a water stressed region. Eight years, that's terrifying. It's the statistics like those that initially shocked me into doing my own research of what I now know as the water crisis. I felt responsible to educate myself and others about what the water crisis is because no one ever told me about it. And it is such a big issue. So what is the water crisis? A lot of people in talking to have told me that, oh, that's like the drought in California or what's happening in Flint. Yes, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The water crisis is the global depletion and pollution of our water resources and the inability to access it. Basically, we're running out of clean water. So I don't want to run out of clean water, and I hope you guys don't either. So we should probably talk solutions. There are a lot of solutions going around, but a big one that has become popular lately is water privatization. Basically, a company would be in charge of a water system. The water in it would be a commodity, and the companies would make profit off of dispensing it. Maybe this is a good idea for the water crisis because companies will be able to regulate it how they see fit. However, going down this path of making water a commodity is very dangerous. In developing nations, water privatization is already pretty common. However, people who can't even afford food, they can't afford this water too. But these multi-billion dollar water privatization companies don't care. They put profit over people because water is a commodity. They're going to end up limiting access to water. That's not good. Water being a commodity is dangerous. Oil is also a pretty hot commodity. And a lot of conflicts and even war resulted as um, the wanting oil, you know, like wanting to have control and access to oil and the pricing of oil. And we're following down a very similar path if we privatize our water systems, if we turn water into a commodity. However, water has much more power because we need water to survive. We cannot live without water, much less have a good economy. So people and nations will do whatever they have to do to ensure their access to water. The person who controls the water will control the fate of nations. Any wars or conflicts resulting in privatizing water would be far worse than any we have ever seen with oil. So obviously, a solution to the water crisis that results in war is not a very good solution. At least I hope you guys don't think so. So we're back to step one. What is the real solution for the water crisis? Well, to ensure that what I just mentioned doesn't happen, we need to make water a basic human right for everyone, and we need to ensure that everyone has equal access to it. Now, that might sound a little contradictory because I just said we're running out of water, and now I'm trying to say give it to everyone. However, we need to have a lot more rules and regulations surrounding how we use water and how much we use it. We need to heavily invest in our water. That means we need to plant crops where it rains and not where we're going to drain an aquifer just to produce them. That means we're going to fix leaking pipes so we don't waste water. And that means investing in backup plants like desalination. And that sounds great, but what can you do as an audience member sitting there? You're probably thinking, I don't, I don't know how to build a desalination plant. I can't help. Yes, you can. In order to put this into play, we all need to be a voice for change. That's how we're going to get this done. And the first step to being a voice for change is to do your research. You need to know your impact on the water crisis and its impact on you, and the fact that everyone will be impacted, even if you have access to water. Then you need to shout it from the rooftops. Tell anybody and everybody you know about the water crisis, its solutions, why it's such a big deal, the fact that it's happening now and not in 100 years, not in 50 years, but now. And then you need to email, call, write letters to your local and state representatives and tell them why water matters to you. Tell them what the water crisis is. Tell them that we need to invest in our water to protect it. And we can't just sell it to the highest bidder. We can be water conscious consumers as well. If companies pick up on the fact that the public wants, uh, the public wants products that are water conscious, they will make those water conscious products. These are all things that you can do as an audience member. 
sitting there. Now you know what to do. And I'm asking you just to do that. Be an advocate for water. Use your voice for change. Thank you.